So for this project we need a couple pieces. I wrote here in the video description all the parts I used so you don't get confused. The first thing I need to do is connect these two parts together and I decide to use epoxy glue. This is a professional glue and in only 5 minutes will become very hard, very strong and will be airtight so we don't have leaks, air leaks from the valve. So this is how it looks like only after 5 minutes and I can then connect it inside another junction. This is a T-shape junction, this is one, one and a quarter inch big and I can connect two parts together. Make sure when you turn, when you screw the thing inside that turns perfectly straight in the center. Now I have to find the center part of the brass tube, so I mark it with a marker and now I can use a metal mm, saw to cut it away. This is bronze, so it's very very easy to cut it away, in only 5 minutes this is the result. Make sure to sand very smooth the part on top here, so the cut is very clean because it doesn't have to be in perfection, these have to be airtight, so make sure to make this procedure very carefully. Now let's take other two parts, we are almost over. Uh, this is a reduction and this is a brass uh, junction. This bronze part has to be perfectly smooth inside because I have to slide two, more con two small containers. In this case I found these paint containers in my shop but you can use anything, for example a piece of wood or something that you find in your kitchen. I don't know, this is your mm, imagination. So as you can see the piston inside can move freely but is almost airtight. These two parts have to glue together, have to be glued together in with also a rubber gasket. This is the one used usually to seal, to close beer bottle. And this is the result. We have the rubber on top and the plastic piston ready. So the brass part goes inside the valve and the piston as well. And as you can see, the rubber gasket seals perfectly the half inch brass pipe we have glued inside together inside with inside so a um, small spring is a good idea to place it behind so that we will keep pressure on the plastic piston as you can see with my finger i can still move the piston very easy so that open and close the valve in this case is open and then it's closed open close open close so that they can shoot air from on the front now other two last process we have a cap and a Brass, another metal pipe and this cap is very easy the modification I drill a hole inside put some epoxy glue and now a valve from a bicycle tire is placed in front from this part I then co can compress air inside the valve so screw everything again together and now it's just a matter of thinking about air reservoir so an air tank in this case I took a coca-cola bottle and I made and I placed two connectors in front so it's very easy now I, I just have to use some nylon tubes to connect the two one and a half one and one uh, one half liter um, each bottle and so we have a, a lot of air a big quantity of air and that's the reason why I have to have a, such a big valve so once you put a simple valve on the back and you open it, we activate the piston and the QAV valve will shoot from the front. So let's see. Maybe now you are wondering how this QAV valve works. You will find in the video description here below everything. I made a couple years ago a couple rifles so you find an animation how this QAV valve works. So check it out and let's see now how everything again shoots together. So it's very minimalistic, you can see all the components that are exposed and this shoots something very cool. I'm talking about these very little glass containers. Inside of them I put some paint and today we are going to shoot paint against some walls, against, against some objects. So let's see also in some slow motion how this bazooka works.
Well, folks, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the project. As always, I ask you, please, leave a like below. This is very appreciated. It helps a lot my oncoming project. And as always, I leave you with my two previous projects. So you have it, one here and one here. Check them out. And see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao, ciao.